kitty just doesn't give a damn about me. Ow! Ow! God, kitty. Look what the damn cat did to my curtains. Do you see this? Look at this. Look at this. You watch the video. I need to, I need to go for a drive and just clear my head. Hey, this is Josie from yumyucky.com. Welcome back to 10 Best Tips for Weight Loss. This is part two, and we're picking it up with tip number six. Intermittent fasting. If you are, if you follow me, you've probably already heard me talk about intermittent fasting. I'm going to link to my free intermittent fasting ebook. Yum Yucky's Guide to Intermittent Fasting will tell you all about intermittent fasting, what it is, what it isn't, decide if it's right for you. It's not right for all people. And some of you may already be doing intermittent fasting to some level or degree without even realizing it. Basically with intermittent fasting, you stop eating at a certain time in the evening and then you don't have your next meal until a certain time the next day. So for instance, I myself particularly stop, usually stop eating around 8 p.m in the evening. Um, I continue to hydrate, but I don't have my first meal until between 12 and 2 the next day. So with fasting, what's happening is instead of your body uh, getting the energy it needs to go throughout the day from the food you eat, from the food in your stomach, from the, everything that you ate, it's actually tapping into the fat stores in your body because there's no food that you've eaten for that, that uh, period of time. Um, but again, Grab my ebook, it's free, read all about it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I've been doing intermittent fasting for a year now. It's done wonders for me. Combined with strength training will really have you looking awesome. So it's just something for you to look into. Number seven, hydration. Oh my God, hydration is such a boring subject. But when you don't hydrate properly, your, your body is not able to perform all those internal biological functions uh, properly that it needs to. You're, you're gonna feel like crap. You're probably going to retain more water because your body's holding on to the water that it has because you're not giving it anything. Therefore, you are what? Looking more bloated again. Hydration, get it in. I know it's boring, you can do tea, you can do, um, infused water with, with fruit. There's just so many things you can do. Please don't hydrate with soda. Number eight, interval training, high intensity interval training. Okay, so we talked about not doing so much cardio. We talked about strength training. Interval training is wonderful, not only because it, it really gets your heart rate up there quick, and um, it really is so effective in it for streamlining your calorie burn, but you can train within a smaller period of time. You don't have to train for an hour. Who has an hour? I'm, I'm, okay, maybe you do have an hour, I don't know. I don't have an hour, I got four dang kids plus the crazy husband. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes is all you need to hit it and quit it with your interval training. Interval training is, uh, getting that high intensity going for a certain period of time, then you go down low, then you go high and low. An example of that is if you love to run, do sprint intervals. Instead of doing a steady state cardio where you're running for 45 minutes to, to get in that calorie burn, if you were to do 15 minutes of sprint intervals, which kills me by the way, you are done and you're getting a greater calorie burn than if you did that steady state cardio for 45 an hour. Think about it and do it because it's gonna save you time, you're gonna see a greater calorie burn and um, you're gonna sweat more and you're probably gonna sneak more too. Just saying. Number nine, detoxing from my vices. Detox from your vices, okay? So, um, Within the course of your weight loss journey, you start doing things right. Things are going good, you're moving and you're grooving, things are going along, but there still might be those one or two things that always get you, just creeps up on you. It's like, yeah, yeah, here I am. I'm here to steal your weight loss success. Okay, for me, it was pizza and sugary food, okay? So what I had to do was completely detox. I had to just shut it down 
completely, okay? Yes, it's like going through withdrawal. I did it, for instance, with my sugar. I did a no sugar for seven days detox. And when I say no sugar for seven days, realize that there are there is sugar in certain foods. For instance, a slice of bread has about four to five grams of sugar, okay? So there is gonna be sugar in the foods that you eat, but, uh, so that's just, that four or five grams, you, you can see that that's not really a sugary food. When you start getting into the seven and eight grams of sugar range, that's where the sugary crappy food really is. So that's the kind of stuff that you wanna stay away from. So I did that for a week, was awesomely successful with it. I broke my sugar addiction in that week. It was hard, it really was. And there are some tips that I'll leave um, uh, in the description as well on my seven day sugar detox that I did. But it was so good that I ended up doing it for three weeks. And that was four years ago. And ever since I detoxed, I have had control over the sugary things that I eat. I am no longer a slave to sugar. Um, and I'm not afraid to eat certain things now because I know that I can maintain that control. And that's what that detox did for me. It helped me gain back control. So detox from your vices, uh, whether you try it for three days, a week, a month, whatever it may be, but you get control. You get back that control. Don't let outside things control you and that is what i mean by detoxing from your vices okay and here's the one i love the most number 10 allow those indulgences yes do not deny yourself the things that you love and enjoy to eat when you are old and gray and getting ready to kick the bucket you are not going to be stressing over that second or third slice of pie you ate back in 1985 Choose the indulgences that are really worth it to you, the foods that you really love, and screw the rest. Forget the mindless munching, just eating any old thing just because it's in front of you or because somebody offered it to you. Pick your indulgences wisely. And don't do it every day, go one day. Once a week, me and my husband usually go out to a restaurant, and that is the time that I choose to indulge. I don't have sugary treats every day and I know that if I'm going out later in the week if I have it planned I'm already looking forward to it I'm telling myself okay Josie you're not gonna have this today this crap that was offered to you because you know that on Friday you're gonna get all sexy and looking all good and you're gonna go out with your honey and you're gonna get some dessert later okay dessert that's worth it so put that crap down that you're almost gonna put in your mouth today and Plan your indulgences and only gobble up those things that are worth it to you. Okay, those are my 10 tips. I hope I counted right. I hope I didn't leave anything out. The, that is how I lost over 40 pounds twice. It's possible, you can do it. Now, even though these things work for me, I do encourage you to do some trial and error test runs. Try my tips, but do the things that work for you. Throw, you don't have to follow the crowd when it comes to losing weight. Just because somebody's doing X, Y, Z and it worked for them, or there's a big ABC movement going on over here with some weight loss product or what have you, uh, it's okay. You don't have to do it. You don't have, oh, well, you know, I have to do it. You know, this works for everybody. Oh, I feel like crap doing it and, oh, um, I'm not really happy and I'm miserable on this diet or what have you forget it and as far as dieting forget about diets just focus on living a healthy lifestyle and with all of these tips I want to tell you that don't try everything at one time especially if you're a newbie and you're just getting started pick one or two things that you can do this week to change to make a healthy change and once you get the groove going with that maybe a week or two weeks and you're really in a groove with that thing and it's like a clockwork and you're doing it really good then add another thing and another thing and before you know it you have you've built your foundation of good habits and then you're just stacking it and you're building 
one more good habit on top of another one and then you look around you're like oh look oh my god look at me i'm all sassy and everything because i've been doing my good healthy habits every day see that's how it works it takes time it's going to take patience but there is a new you on the inside just waiting to come out and i encourage you to start now to get ready to get going to plan create a plan and put it into practice and you will see results okay those are my tips i hope that they are helpful to you please share this with anyone who you think it might be helpful to and i really appreciate it if you like comment and subscribe like comment and subscribe like comment and subscribe thanks guys i'll see you later bye bye